Welcome to GameSpot's now playing mm -hmm. for Wolfenstein The New Order. Yeah. A brand new first person shooter that just came out today. Yesterday, dude. It's yesterday. Wednesday. A brand new first person shooter <laughs> that just came out yesterday. I'm Sean McGinnis and this is Chris Waters. Hey, folks. And we're going to play it. It's Wolfie time. So uh, we played a little bit of this on the lobby yesterday. Uh, I saw me doing some train station, trying some stealth, and then fighting some big old soldiers. So we're going to hop around a little bit today. We're taking some requests for uh, action. So uh, first, some of the requests we had were to see some stealth. So I'm going to go ahead and boot up a chapter here that's got, uh, that starts out with some stealth. I'm going to try to infiltrate a prison in order to free the uh, some resistance members and we're gonna play it on all right Sean which one do you think here can I play daddy <laughs> this is my so far I've played like the first hour or so of Wolfenstein up until the late title card uh-huh but this is far and away my favorite part of the game this is your favorite part are the difficulty selection screen portraits which here let me show you a trick okay you ready for this? Yeah, let's see it. The trick is to just cycle them like this. And imagine a timeline in which a baby would go from really basic, innocent looking baby to an evil, <laughs> murderous man with blood all over his face. It's demon baby. Just fill in the gaps yourself. This is my favorite thing to do. Hello, I'm BJ Blaskowitz. <laughs> <laughs> Won't you come kill some Nazis with me? <laughs> oh, that's too good. Yes, let's do this. Oh, I'm feeling... Quite angry. <laughs> no! <laughs> That's the whole game. We're just yeah. going to do this. We're just going to do that. All right. Uh, I'm going to play this on Uber difficulty. Wow. And okay. We're going to get a quick look at uh, BJ and Anya having a nice moment in the train. Uh, this train is a good BJ. time to remind you that this is rated M for mature. Yes. Oh, yeah. So if you have people watching who are sensitive to adult themes, i.e., violence. It, that's the whole game. But sexual themes, in particular, such as sexual violence. S start your VCRs now. Are you comfortable sharing? <laughs> what? So do you need me to explain this to you? No, no. I know how adult situations work. <laughs> uh. And death. Yeah, BJ does this muttering to himself thing throughout the game. Sometimes when he's in the coital embrace with Anya, other times when he's killing Nazis. Pretty much a lot. Uh, I like it because it gives him some extra character. Hey, if you guys have questions, did you mention this already? No. Uh, if you guys have questions about the game, feel free to jump into the Twitch chat on twitch.tv slash GameSpot or Leave comments on the on the page on GameSpot for now playing, and I'll uh, take a look at both of those, and we'll try to answer whatever questions we can. Chris, have you completed this game? No, I haven't actually. Uh, I've gotten quite far in fighting the Nazis, but I haven't beaten it yet. I do like you saw that trick they did during the cutscene, just or during that. Um, I guess this this is a pre, one of the pre-rendered cutscenes. There's the in-engine ones. I don't know what the difference is in terms of production. Um, but they did the cut from Anya, sort of naked, getting out of bed to in the hotel. Mm -hmm. They do those kind of jumps during the story, and they're really, they're really kind of slick. I like them a lot. It kind of keeps things moving at a good pace uh, during these sort of in-between story moments. I don't think those are even pre-rendered cutscenes, really. Like the one we just saw here. Yeah, because like I'm playing the game on PC, mm -hmm. and it actually looks different depending on what like depth of field settings you have enabled and stuff. So oh, I really? think, uh, yeah, I think those cutscenes are actually in engine. They just apply some extra cinematic effects to them. Cool. So here we are in uh, Berlin, listening to uh, some announcements. What we have a beautiful morning. Keep an eye on that uh, subtitles because you'll start to hear some delightful Nazi propaganda. You'll have great work to perform for your fatherland. I'm going to try to get onto the roof of that prison bus to get into a prison. All right. Let's see it. And so do a little sneak around here. Just let me remind you to stay true to the values of the Reich. As a member of Germania, you are a supreme human being. A supreme being acts with force and ambition. A supreme being despises weakness and strives for perfection. So as you can see, echoing a lot of that Nazi propaganda business, honorable and pure. Ooh. 
I'm gonna stab a lot of those people who are honorable. You, here. you should definitely stab a lot of those dudes because they're Nazis. Yeah, yeah, they're bad. They do bad stuff. All right, so here's where you get the first, your first like uh, little cutting implement. I'm gonna go a little bit quickly through this part because I have already done it, and it's sort of one of the more exploratory sections of the. Uh, of the game, so it does, it, uh, what I like about, one of the things I like about Wolfenstein The New Order is the way that it does this kind of exploratory stuff. Yeah, overcharge my health, and then it'll slowly count down. Does it, like, this exploratory, so you can, like, cut, you know, in here, there's actually a, a painting that I grabbed on a previous playthrough. Um, just gives you a chance to, like, poke around the environments a little more and take your time a little bit more. Uh, that's not always the best for a live stream, but it is, <laughs> but in terms of, like, a game that does, like, stealth action and then just, like, you know, balls out and shoot a ton of Nazis, it's nice to have some varying pace. Um, yeah. Just gonna chop this thing open. Yeah, yeah, go, go for go it. Go through that hole. Yep. I'm gonna chop this thing open, too. This part, these cutting stuff is not the coolest, but whatever. Think I can fit, <laughs> do you think I can fit through that? I think, yeah. yeah I'm just think gonna, gonna, just nope. Gonna, nope. Yeah, nope. I'm yes, just a little did. hop. You're just good. a quick little hop. You're good. And like, there's some, there was a treasure in there that I got to earlier. Um, but once you, so I'm playing, I've traveled back mm -hmm. uh, in my playthrough. As you saw, I just loaded a chapter. I've actually kept um, my health upgrades that I've gotten. So my max is 170 health when generally you start off at 100. Uh, well, you do start off at 100. Yeah. And, um,. That that same applies to weapons in some cases, but not in this case where you just sort of start off with no weapons. But I do have a knife, which oh. I can stick into that individual. And um, this thing doesn't shoot yet, so it's strictly knife times. Uh, when you're doing stealth, this is a very healthy, handy mechanic, which is the lean. I'm holding. I'm playing on the Xbox One, by the way. You hold the left bumper, and then uh, you can kind of lean. You can do like forward to, to the side. You can like do a little dance. You can go up and down, and get really low to the ground, and that's leaning. Uh, we've got a question in the chat room from Eminent Stranger, who's wondering, uh, have I experienced any bugs related to the PC version of the game? Uh, he says apparently there are crashes and performance issues, mostly with AMD. Uh, I am running on an Intel machine, and it's been fine for me. Uh, it actually runs pretty well on my machine, which is a GTX 670 with a i5 2500K. So, you know, not the most oh. cutting edge PC, but I can uh, I can run it on uh, nearly maxed out <laughs> settings. Yikes! <laughs> That's where you just get in to a straight beatdown fight with a Nazi. And uh, <laughs> just stabbing each other left and right. He's clubbing me. I'm oh, stabbing him. Oh, I thought he him. was stabbing you. Oh, what's up, Robo Dog? This doggy has. Are you gonna stealth kill this Robo Dog? Yes, I really am gonna. Like, look at this horrible uh, legs. Like, this is a real abomination. Yeah, the, that thing not, shouldn't exist. You should. I'm that gonna, is an affront to God and man. Good night. Oh, whoa. sweet doggy. Yeet. And now I'm gonna take now armor. Now its legs off of the, are all splayed out like that. I'm gonna take its butt armor and put it on my head. <laughs> and now I have more armor. <laughs> BJ is nothing if not a good improviser. Okay, so how do the health upgrades work? Because I know early on you can get above 100, yeah. but that's when the number turns yellow and it's just a temporary thing that ticks back down to 100. Oh, can you write this dumb number down for me, actually? What, the, the entirety of that? Yeah, just write it down in like a, a little text field. A little text edit over so, my text edit app? Yeah, so this is like, there. you can collect, one of the collectibles are these Enigma code files. And then when you're in uh, the extras menu, actually, I'm going to answer this phone real quick. When you're in the extras menu, you can go there, and there's like a decoding thing for decoding Enigma files. Mm -hmm. And doing that unlocks extra game modes. So I'm pretty sure that. Um, Wait, which number did you want me to write down? I'll show it to you again in a okay. second. Basically, I'm just listening to this dude talk about the bus rolling up. And because I'm Mueller, I'm not answering him. He's getting super salty. I'm getting a, a glimpse into like Nazi workplace drama here. He's about to drop some f bombs on Mueller. Yeah. Oh no, dude! I, the, the Ethernet cable hasn't been plugged in. I guess it got it onto thought the you were connected or something. for a little while. All right, shut up. Just hang up. DJ, hang up. This phone call's over. So some of that stuff, like here, just write these numbers down. All of those down? Yeah. 
What am I, a stenographer? Just write the numbers down. You don't have to write the math. No, I got to do the math. I don't want to miss any of the subtle details of the game. 5 Fair plus enough. 6 equals 11. That yep. checks out. 1 plus 1 equals 2. And Great. I'm not exactly sure if those numbers actually... I'm going to share this with you on Google Docs. Great. I'm, I'm going to sure. call this important math document. Parentheses, Look at these not computers. naked pictures of sake to me. Cool. There we go. That's good. Yeah. I don't want to confuse that with my uh, other documents that are also not naked pictures of sake to me. I don't know why. See, I picked up these files. I don't know why. I don't know where they go. Does my map show anything? It just shows the commander. So you can pick up maps in a given level that'll mm -hmm. show you where sort of like treasure or unlockable stuff is. Oh, hey. Whoa! Oh, yeah! So uh, this is a classic Wolfenstein touch, is the secret rooms, the secret corridors. I didn't even know that was there. <laughs> nice. I have not discovered this before. But that's, I mean, that's kind of how you do it, right? You, you sort of spot things that are a little conspicuous and then uh, go figure it out. And boom, I've got another Enigma code, which is cool. And uh, like, I guess I could have seen this room on the map in the shaded area, but... Yeah, neat. Finding secrets. All right, let's go kill more Nazis, please. Good work. So sometimes, you know, you, you can get a little playful with the Nazis. Like, here's a commander listening to some music. You're going to stab him in the butt or the neck? I'm just going to, like, do a little swaying back and forth. And <laughs> dance into the tunes. <laughs> I just want to say, BJ's use of jazz hands is pretty on point. <laughs> Look at it, just kind of like, whoa, 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 whoa. Which way do you want me to stab this Is guy? he doing the Dougie? This kind of stab or that kind of stab? No, definitely, oh, uh, no, the other one. All right. Yeah, yeah. What? Yeah. Oh, gross. All right, so that dude's down. I'm pretty sure I <laughs> Look at his body, look at his body. Look at his wow. dumb, look at his little baby legs. Dude, he, I bet he couldn't do that position in life. That's no. a tough yoga position. That is. And so I, there's also these little articles you find around, like, first German lands on the moon. So this is kind of establishing the alternate history lore of the game, yeah. right? Because no German has ever been to the moon. No German? No German has ever been to the moon. Ever. Ever. Has, I, maybe, maybe, maybe there was secretly. Maybe a secret German on the moon? I don't want to offend our German viewers by implying that no German has ever been to the moon. And you're not just implying it, Sean. You're outright <laughs> stating outright it. saying, no German has ever been to the moon. Neil, Ar Neil Armstrong might have secretly been a German. So if you can see these guys, these are the, these are the dudes I'm trying to rescue. Uh, or I guess, I don't know if I actually know that for sure yet. But, like, they've got these man in the iron mask things going on, which is just like a real creepy touch. <laughs> this game is full of those real creepy touches. Yeah. Um... A lot, yeah, a lot of the uh, exotic technology that the Nazis have developed in this world is a little unsettling. All right. So now we go and get on this this crazy train to prison town. Um, yeah, that's one of the things that, you know, you you really... S oh, we're getting, like, getting psyched up here. Let's just check this okay. out. Okay. From Mars. I wonder if there's anything in this world worth saving. Tyranny. Enemy of endless might. I'm wondering if I have any friends left standing. <laughs> Nazis getting pissed at other Nazis about parking jobs. <laughs> Germans love efficiency, and there's nothing less efficient than incorrectly parking. If this is where they're keeping you, I will find you and set you free. He's very determined. All right, so now we start the infiltration of Eisenwald Prison. This involves sneaking. Now, do you have to sneak here, or is this a choice of your own? Uh, eh, I don't know. I mean, I, I don't know if you actually have to sneak at any point. Okay. So there's no moments in the game that you've encountered, at least, where it's like instant fail mm. upon detection? No. I th 
no, I have not encountered that. Okay. Uh, nor it's just, holy crap, there's a ton of Nazis you have to uh -huh. kill now upon detection. I wish I could slide tackle this guy. That would be dope. Instead, I'm just going to punch him in the head and yeah, stab just, him. Just give him a little head punch. Yep. But I don't get to take his baton, which is kind of a bummer. Bummer summer, bro. Cutting through some chains. There's some dudes down here. Like, I'm being pretty cavalier. I did not, uh, I was not this sort of bold on my first playthrough. I <laughs> definitely tried to take it a little slower because I think, you know, I try to preserve the stealth. See, now there's dog food, but there's no dog. I'm gonna find that dog. Maybe that's a hint. It's a hint that I should eat the dog food. It's a hint so you here's eat the your question food. about the health earlier, Sean. Whenever you go, whenever it says overcharge, uh -huh. then you're going to go over your max health, and that yeah. slowly counts down. So like basically the benefit of me eating that dog food, besides just like feeling like a real subhuman, <laughs> was nil. Uh, but you can get much larger packs, uh, you know, that help you overcharge in moments of uh, in moments of need, in moments of combat, but. Other than the overcharge, you're gonna see. Oh, I didn't cut it low enough for myself to just go across. You the go. other thing to consider about health is there is. Um, ugh. That guy's alarmed. Oh, he sees me. Oh, God. No. Just be, be real. Yeah, okay. Your health regenerates to the nearest multiple of 20. So if you drop down, if I were to get into a fight and drop down to 90 health, mm -hmm. I would only go back up to 100. If I dropped to 80, you know, if I dropped to 81, I would go back up to 100. If I dropped to 79, I would only go back up to 80. So it sort of straddles the line of regenerating health and not regenerating health, essentially. Because so, you know, you're down, you're down to it, you got like two health left, it's not as dire as all that. You're going to be up to 20. You can, like, take a hit, maybe. But you're still going to have to be very cautious and very, you know, you want to be very mindful about your health, uh, which I think is actually a really smart way to handle it and sort of preserve that tension of no regenerating health. Come to me. Kill him. Kill him. <laughs> that was a bad job. Uh, now we're getting into a stab fight. Okay, there's a dog. There's a dog coming. Where's the doggy? Ah, come on, doggy! Stab fight, stab fight! Oh, what? <laughs> oh, welcome to the next gen God of console it. gaming. So this is happening on this specific debug Xbox we've been playing it on. So oh, okay. Bitch. So this is not like a retail. This I have not encountered this problem at all on my home console. I unplugged the wire, the the friggin' internet, so this wouldn't happen. But now it's happening with the wireless oh, because shit. it's sort of connecting. Normally it pops up and it's just a menu that lets you try again or cancel. But now it's oh, it's hung up. Just cancel, cancel. you cancel. stupid idiot. That's an issue that oh, oh. I haven't encountered anywhere else. <laughs> so I'm just oh. gonna actually take a quick second here to try to turn off that wireless so that doesn't happen again. This, Sorry, folks. This is the part of the now playing experience where you get to really dig in to the Xbox One network settings. There we go. Disconnect wireless. All right. Yep. Yep. Super okay. fun. Super All right, fun. You're good. you're good. All right. Let's go back over here. So see, like, I broke stealth there. That Nazi definitely saw me. I don't want to get seen by this thing. It will kill me. But I do want to bust these boxes open because... <laughs> And this isn't exactly stealthy. There no. should be some health in here, but there's not. So, oh gosh! So see, I'm at 111 health now. It's gonna go back up to 120, but then it's gonna stop. Okay. So yeah, uh, stealth not necessary in th certain situations. The times when you really want to be careful about stealth are when there are commanders around. Okay, uh, and those are the guys who call in reinforcements. Exactly. Yeah. So if they call in reinforcements, it's gonna make your life significantly harder. Um, oh yeah. It's going to make your life significantly harder, so you want to take them out as quickly as you can. Uh, and as stealthily as you can, because then, then you can just... Oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god. Slide away! So that's a Panzerhund, and I'm going to try to get away from it. Oh 
god, oh, it's coming god. in still, maybe. Get out, get I don't out, know get where out. I am. Abort. Okay. okay. Abort. Okay. 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 All right, all right, that's fine. You're good, you're good. Um, hello? Uh, hello? Uh, hello? Okay, he's coming. <laughs> no, you're good. You're good. Right. Just wait until he turns the corner, and then just give him the old knife in the throat trick. <laughs> the old stab a -rooney. Yeah. No problem, Sean. You can do that. No problem. Come on. Where is this guy? Where is this? <laughs> Stab him in the gooch. Oh. He just told me he was going to punch my face in. I mean, I, it I seems appreciate, legit. I appreciate I mean, his that. That dude enthusiasm. looks pretty tough. Yeah. All right. We're going to go pretty quickly through this section. Actually, I'm gonna try to do a little bit more stealth, and then we'll get to some some guns blazing yeah, stuff. Yeah, I want to see some of the crazy guns. Oh, you want to get? I want to see like dual wielding auto shotgun kind of shit. Oh yeah, kill this dude. Do you want to see me kill this guy in the toilet situation? Shoot him in the head. I don't have a gun, man. That's weird. <laughs> but I can't give him a swirly. You punched his throat in, like you caved in his esophagus. <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> And th oh, that was necessary. <laughs> you had to flush the toilet. Yeah, I did. If oh, anything, if anything, you did him down. a favor because then he's not dying in his own urine. <laughs> I did him a favor by yeah. stabbing him in the back of his head. Oh. Wait, I just need to check. Is anyone else here? No. Okay. Okay. You're good. Did you like that? That was good. That, that was, was good. That I like was, those animations. You can tell that they I'm had fun with those. Dog food, real quick. So in that case, I ate the dog food. It put me over. Like I was at 140. The dog food gave me 144, and now I'm up to 160. These dogs are not the smartest. That guy's asleep. I'm gonna stab this dog. Oh, is this the one? I think this is the room where you get to do the, the kill from the trailer. Uh, <laughs> so check you this out. You just clubbed him on the head. So hard, though. Yeah, that's true. All right, so this is one of BJ's Delightful one-liners. Let's listen. <laughs> you're dead. Yeah. What did he say before you're dead? Wake up, you're dead. <laughs> that was for you, Mary Kish. She uh, requested that specifically. That's a good one. So some of those... I think I wrote these numbers down already, but put those in your Google Doc. What am I just... Am I writing down the sums or the math? Just write down... What, when you say write down the numbers, but you don't have to write down all of them. I don't know, actually. I don't know. Do, I don't do know. Mean... No, I don't know, Sean. This right. is just... I'm going to write down this whole equation. 8 times 9 equals 72, parentheses 7 plus 2 equals 9. All right. All right I'm going to put that in my Fix important trans... math document. Fix that transcription error. You wrote 71. Friggin' what? worst stream partner ever. I'm just saying. I, all I ask is that you write down a number. <laughs> Simple number. All right, so this, so see the signal detected thing you guys notice in the top right? That's the, your indication that a commander's around. If this guy gets alerted, a ton more people are going to come, but <laughs> shit. You really took it to that chair. I really did not mean to do wow. that. I hope that he did not actually get around to calling more people. It didn't people. seem like... It seemed like he was a little preoccupied with trying to club you to death. With me getting stabbed. So at what point are you going to get a gun? Uh, all right. <laughs> Forget that. I am going to need a key. Come on, key. this guy doesn't have a key on him? Looks like a key having kind of dude. Seems like a key dude. <laughs> Where's the key? Show me the question. Oh, marks. there's some heated math discussion in the Twitch chat. Oh, because that wasn't actual math, right? That was weird math. Hey, here's a question from Brent Banner in the GameSpot comments. He's wondering, can you throw the knife at any point? You can't throw this knife, but you can pick up knives to throw. Okay, uh, they're special, like, smaller throwing knives? Yes, and so you definitely can throw knives. Um, all right, this is maybe the last section. You're not going to beat me to death. I'm going to stab you a lot. Nice. Very impressed. This is like a, sort of a. There's a puzzle to solve. If you go down here, you can get like um, a bigger battery for your thing. Actually, I think I need to get that because it turns my thing into a gun. Hiya! Yeah. Give me that. 
Oh crap. Yep. Because now, oh, get him. Like this is a gun now. Uh, I'm just missing this guy's face. But I didn't miss it that time. What a dummy. Oh, real good question from Senor Sensei, who asks, can you do wheel knives? Yeah. Can you do knives akimbo? Or is that You just... can. You can do knives You can do knives akimbo? Yeah. Can you do it now? No. Uh, now I can run from Panzerhund. Panzerhund. Schnell, schnell. That's German for... Watch out, there's a dog behind you, so you better all ass. You have a pretty solid command of the German language that I did not expect you to have, Sean. Yeah, well, you I'm know. pretty impressed. Yeah. All right, I'm gonna be breaking out of this prison soon and there will be guns, I promise. You can do this. I think you should just follow that B sign for Blaskowitz. Coming in hot. Oh, no. Oh, okay. Oh. It was on the wrong mode. Oh. That dude really thought that he had the upper hand on you. And then he got shot in the brain with a laser gun. <laughs> he got thing. zapped in the face. Ziggity zapped. All right, so now I'm in the cell block. I'm coming up on uh, a gun situation. There will be shooting. Although first I have to rescue the prisoners. We're at the top here. Boom, baby. Nope. I always hate that when you like get to the top of an elevator. Alright. Is this the gun version? Yes. Knock, knock. Oh, what's up? Oh, what is... So this is the prisoner situation. Wow. Right? Is, you can kill these guys though, right? No. Uh, or are these story critical dudes? No, these are not. These are... These are my my resistance friends. I mean, I'm gonna... yeah, but they're also prisoners, so so you know. Blah 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 blah. No, he's not. He's not shooting them. You know, these guys, you know, they they made their decisions. They're the ones <laughs> who robbed the liquor store to get thrown in prison, right? You know, you got to do a lot more than <laughs> rob a liquor store or uh, to get thrown into a man in the iron mask. <laughs> That's true. All right, so now we're gonna talk a little bit to our friend. Uh, now this, there's actually a, one choice you can make in Wolfenstein the New Order that splits it into two timelines where you end up with uh, a, a different character accompanying you through the story. So, Sean, if you made it to the late title I card, made that choice, yeah. then you made that choice. Yeah. Uh, I won't go too much into what that choice is and I'm not gonna actually Actually, no, we'll watch this movie because pretty soon the uh, the Nazis are coming. I'm gonna take a drink of water. Uh huh. And, um, yeah. There we go. Boom! That guy's not making it out. All right. Yeah, put time a table to, in front of it. Time to go loud. All right, come on. Put that table there. Nazis are here, man. Oh, he's got so much blood on his face. BJ. So this is basically the first time that you, other than Anya, this is the first time that you have encountered anyone, anyone who like you might be able to fight with, any kind of resistance. So BJ is obviously very determined. That's true. So uh, I like that, like totally nonplussed by the fact that his face is covered in blood. I mean, that dude's seen a lot of shit over the years. He's seen some crazy, yeah. crazy shit. Hello, friend. You're not going to be... All right, so now that I've got my chintzy little pistol, I got some bullets, some Nazi hats, I love the image of BJ just stacking Nazi hats on top of his head over and <laughs> over again. He's just got a, a series of Nazi helmets on top of his head. Yeah. Yeah, I believe it. So I can like, you know. Team Fortress 2 style. Oh, you don't want to... This is a little, this is a little cocky. That was bold, <laughs> and I really like your approach there. It's just, 
the execution could use a little bit to be desired. <laughs> all right, so now I got to shift into like, all right, we're actually in uber difficulty mode. You can't just run and shoot them in the face like that unless you're going to be super on point, which I was not in that case. So the loading times are actually, eh, they're okay. They're not super awesome. But um, I'm right back into it here. I'm going to grab my shotgun and actually take advantage of the fact that I am playing uh, having been very far in the game, I have this alternate ammo for the shotgun, which is uh, bouncy flak pellets. Uh, so even yeah. if this guy's hiding behind cover, I'm going to kill him with flak pellets, but then there was a guy behind the door. This is the point at which it becomes very apparent that you're playing on the maximum difficulty All level. Right. And this is the point where I stop blowing it. <laughs> you can do this. I promise! Because, yeah, uh, that was a little, little lazy. So, here we go. Oh, that was a different one. That was fun. Okay, shotgun. We're just gonna hang back here a little bit. All right, that's a little far for the shotgun to handle. Let's try some handgun action. You got this, homie. Boom. All right. Booyah. That should do it for those guys. Oh, no. Oh, no, 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 no. Okay. 25 health. So, yeah, 25 health, but then you want to wait till it goes back up to 40 before you grab any other health, because otherwise you're just kind of hamstringing yourself in terms of how much health you have. Meanwhile, what? Yeah. Is that all of you friggin' Nazgul? Nazgul? That's my pet term for the Nazis. For the, for the Nazis? All right. Now I've got my assault rifles. What's happening in here? Oh. Oh, he's going to take care of that guy. No, oh, Fergus. Well done, friendo. Okay, so got now this. I gotta get set up for this uh, prison break, which is actually quite tough. But fortunately, I, I have another advantage in that I've got the alternate fire for these two guns. Dual wielding is easy to do at any time. You just press up on the D-pad. Uh, now I'm gonna try to prepare the way a little bit by looking and spotting, oh, like this guy. Is dual wielding worth it? When oh you, yeah. When you burn through ammo that much faster? It, I mean, in certain situations, it definitely is. Like, if I had dual-wield uh, assault rifles coming down this pipe, I definitely would have done a little bit better than I did. Okay. Uh, just because you put so many bullets into the... Into the Nazgul. Uh, into the Nazgul. Yeah. That they can't help but succumb. All right, so things are getting crazy now. You got this. Out in prison town. You got this, homie. And I am going to try to... GTFO, which involves shooting these things, which are the automatic sentry cameras, and then also spotting these guys. They're good shots on Uber difficulty, so you want to make use of that lean, which can you can you can lean down, you can lean over, you can sort of do the do this funky little wibble wobble. Come on, stick your dumb head up. Oh, you did, just as I was going for his toes. Or I can switch to the rocket attachment that I have and yeah. totally miss him. Oh, Jibs. So if you get caught out by Nazis on Uber, it's pretty, it's going to be over pretty quick, as we saw earlier. So I'm going to take this corridor easy, try to just do some lean stuff, take out that thing there. If I'm, sometimes they'll shoot you even up through these areas. So like, quick pops out of cover to scout are a good way to, to hedge your bets. And then uh, move onward. Who is shooting me? I know someone is trying to do it. Do a shot at me. You can do this. You got this, homie. Oh, there it is. Come on. You get, man. Oh, is he dead? Is he dead? Is he gone? Is he gone again? What is going on? So many bullet noises. Where are the Nazis? All right, let's go down one more. 
There's a slide into cover thing. Have you used it much, Sean? Slide into cover? No. Yeah, or the, I mean the, you know, the run and slide. The situation. run slide? No. We were talking about this earlier. What the fuck? What the fuck? Who was that? Damn it, do you remember Fergus? the run slide conversation we had? I do. I was prompting you subtly to bring it up again okay. and share your concerns. So as I mentioned earlier in the stream, um, I'm playing Wolfenstein on PC with a mouse and keyboard. And very early on into the game, it uh, introduces the run slide mechanic into you, and you actually have to use it to progress through this little tutorial bit. And it's just it struck me as awkward because you have to hit left shift and left control, which are both keys that I would hit with my pinky. Like, I don't normally bring my ring finger over there off of the A key. Uh -huh. And it just felt like really weird. Like, I had to roll my finger onto them simultaneously. Yeah. Um, and it just it struck me as one of the kind of examples of this game is maybe designed for a controller a little more optimized in mind, for a controller especially play. when you factor in like the weapon wheel and that type yeah, of thing. Yeah, which is this is just hold down R R B. Yeah. Whereas like a with a with a mouse you scroll through and it kind of goes like clockwise or whatever. Oh um, god, there's a panzer wound. That situation. But somebody later told me that you can just tap shift and it'll enter a run state and then you tap control and then it'll do the slide. So you don't have to hit them simultaneously. Just kind of like combo them. But um, but yeah, no, I played about an hour of it, and I'll be interested to see if I end up switching over to a controller or not. I would say for those, I would say like, you know, running and sliding like around a corner in an aggressive way mm -hmm. is can actually be pretty tough. Yeah. But like and when you're fleeing from someone, you know, if you want to slide around a corner like that to get away from gunfire in that direction, that's yeah. a good move. But like running up on someone and sliding into them, you'll be able to pull it off on lower difficulty levels. You know, let's look at some Nazi signage here. You know, lift with your legs, not with your back. Don't don't stand so close to me. Uh, oh god! Hello. Oh, so in the chat they are mentioning. Okay. In fairness, all the keys can be rebinded. I just haven't tried that yet. Like I said, I only did an hour or so. So right. maybe I'll find something that's a little bit more suitable. Where is that? Oh, friggin'! Is he I am. A, I am a very impressed with the PC version of the game. It it looks really good, and uh, it's not too hardware taxing either. What do you think about the Xbox One version? Uh, there are certain like. The lighting is a little bit flatter, I would say, compared to PC, but Xbox One version looks good. Mm -hmm. I wonder what the PS4 version looks like. I haven't seen that one. Uh, well, at least in terms of the cutscenes, it looks identical, our guys were saying. There's a, we've actually got a graphics yeah. comparison going up that's going to yeah, actually, put them side by side. I heard that this is one of the games where there isn't like a big disparity between X-Bone and PS4. Who is shooting me? Oh, you're over there. Yeah, I think that I would agree. It's definitely not a, not a huge... Oh, someone restocked the dog food. How thoughtful. So again, using the... This is just the, the lean mechanic that I'm using. I'm not even, like, ducking and unducking. Oh, and I got an AR magazine perk. So that's another thing, actually. Oh, crap, 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 crap. Let's try to... <laughs> that's up a brick. Oh, that was, that was real good. Yeah, See, you're, you're employing that running slide pretty well so far. I'm trying, but that was stupid. I lied. <laughs> you were employing it quite Super well poorly. enough. All right, yeah. uh, one of the things you saw pop, pop up right there is, that, is a perk. I, had, I think I killed enough of enemies using the AR uh, assault rifle, that uh, that perk comes up, that perk indicator, and that's, there are these sort of light bonuses you get throughout while you're playing the game that sort of, they happen naturally during the course of play, but, um, all right, hold on. I'll take a look at them real quick here. So, they come in four different flavors, stealth, tactical, assault, and demolition, and so, you know, demolition is a lot about grenade tossing, I haven't killed a commander with a grenade yet, so I haven't gotten too deep into this one. But assault is like, you know, it increases the ammunition you get and the uh, like, the speed with which you can reload and increases the magazine sizes and stuff like that. Really, the only impactful one is this one, that which is unlocks your ability to throw knives at a target. But again, this stuff all happens very early on, so it's. 
kind of worth uh, targeting these, but not necessarily gonna gonna totally change the game on you. All right, let's get through this part here. You go away. Oh, there's a doggy. Uh. My god, it's a total uprising. Don't shoot that guy, he's your buddy. What if you shot him though? Maybe shoot him. I can't. You can't? He doesn't. No, it doesn't. The gun doesn't fire when he's there. No. It's like real life. Yeah, take that Nazi concrete barrier. So there's some light destructibility in the environments, at least when it comes to cover? Yeah, definitely. So, like, shredding that cover was definitely a good way to. But, like, if you shot at the big up. wall behind them, that wouldn't, like, right. crumble away. It's yeah. kind of like preset things. Yeah, definitely. All right, All the right. site of your previous death. Do you remember how a bunch of dudes came out of that doorway? Yeah. You gonna go auto shoddy on them? I want to, but at first I have to go auto shoddy on this guy. You shot that dude in the butt, and he was real angry. And then you shot his leg off. Oh, that blood stain. Ooh. Oh, that oh, what? Oh! He wasn't dead! Why am I going to desperate stabs? I always do that. I always go panic stab during a reload. It's not like a real good survival tactic. No, it's not. Do not recommend. Oh crap! All right, this is so. This is one of the, the first sort of big enemies you encounter. This is a dude. I'm not going to get too close to him, but he's basically a, a shotgun heavy that I'm just going to kind of pepper from afar mm -hmm. with my dual wield. Now this is a little tricky because I have to like, you know. I'm yeah. leaning out, so I'm holding with my index finger the this bumper, and then it when you're dual wielding, it's left and right trigger are the left and right triggers. Oh, crap. Oh, what happened to your parts? I shot them off. Oh, God. No grenade. I thought I had a grenade. Uh, uh. Hey. It's not super badass to like make worried noises when you're shooting dudes with a shotgun, but you know it is super badass. Dual wielding auto shotguns. <laughs> All right, so those seem like they weigh at least fifty pounds each. Yeah, well, BJ is a, a real muscular dude, so that's true. His name know. is BJ. He's got no problem with this. All right, that's the area I was infiltrating before. I'm all set in there. Uh, we're gonna go head back out here and rendezvous with Fergie. Get some armor and see what we can do with these dual wielding shotties. I saw you. Oh, his whole arm! No! Yeah, so enemies jib. All right. To a certain degrees. Kind of a pet peeve of mine that you have to like reach down and pick up ammo. Not a huge fan of that. Oh yeah. Oh the wielding so fun. Come on. I see you back there. Pop up. Oh no. Oh <laughs> I got in the toe. He fell over. Oh delightful. The whole world is buggered, eh, Blaskowitz? They fucked it up, they did. That's right, Ferg. They did. We're gonna un... Whoa, guy! Oh, that guy really just kind of came out of nowhere. Me, you know? I wasn't, that wasn't my greatest situational awareness. I'm gonna put a ton of Nazi hats on my head. There is a lot of running around picking stuff up in this game. Yeah, and that's like, you know, like I'm saying, like, I don't, I don't, you, you, you kind of got to do it. Ooh, doggy food, my favorite. You kind of got to do it, because otherwise you're going to run low on ammo, mm -hmm. but especially here. Um, but it's I'm not a, the biggest fan of that mechanic. It kind of makes you, like, run through the environment staring down at the ground, which is not awesome. Oh, this part is difficult, as I recall. Come on, doggy. Oh, bam! <laughs> <laughs> that dog, you shot it in the face twice, and it died, and its dead body slid through your legs. 
be like two shotgun guys in the hallway. I don't know what hardened perk is, but like, oh my god, that's like 40 shotgun shells that I just shot down that hallway. All right, now I have nine shotgun bullets left. So yeah, there is kind of a drawback to using the dual wield. Because you, you can burn through ammo real yeah. fast when so, you're dual wielding. I'm gonna dual wield these ARs for a little bit because I seem to have more yeah. of that ammo. Get some Tesla grenades. I think there might be a little more shotgun ammo here. So I'm gonna actually reload just to have my quick swap. Because you can, you can quick swap between with Y uh, between the, your most recent weapon. Um, and that's handy. So you don't have to resort to the wheel in combat. <laughs> Die. And like this, this whole area would have, like, would probably have some uh, Enigma codes hidden in it, or uh, maybe some Nazi gold. But once you play through it and revisit the chapter, all the stuff you've grabbed like that, collectible-wise, mm -hmm. uh, goes away, so that you don't, you know, redundantly collect stuff. Uh, so you're not actually seeing a lot of those secrets. But rest assured, they exist. Uh oh. Oh, get! Oh wow, that was not one of the prolific stabby ones. I actually remember this part pretty well because I was sorely vexed by it on my first playthrough. So that's why I'm uh, being pretty confident All right, here cool. on Oop Ooby Dooby. Ooby Dooby difficulty. Where's the. There's one more guy. Peekaboo. Peekaboo! That was a lot of bullets for not a lot of killing that guy. Oh, so much blood splatter. Damn it, Fergie! What? Oh, Fergie! Fortunately, I have the rocket attachment to the AR, which you don't actually get for another few levels, but which I got there. So this is the end of the level. I'm going to clear the way out here. Ugh. Goal. Maybe we'll just do one for a little more accuracy. Fergus is going to go get a car. We're going to drive away. And then I'm going to just quick load uh, two other places on the map. I don't know what time it is, how, how much time we have left on the stream. I'm gonna About load... 10 minutes. 10 minutes? 10 minutos. Jeez. All right, well, I'm going to load two other spots on the map just to give you guys a quick look at uh, some other parts of the game. Another so, question we'll from Brent in Banner in the GameSpot comments. He asks, can you only dual wield the same weapon types? Yes. Oh, yeah! Uh, yes, you can only dual wield the same weapon types. So double pistols, double shotguns, double assault rifles. Um, double marksman rifles you get later on? You are not able to dual wield the laser. Oh gosh. Here we go, into the sewers. Have you ever wondered what Nazi poop smells like? You're about to find out. <laughs> not you personally, but BJ is gonna find out. All right, uh, so we're gonna quit to the main menu and just load up two more spots. One of which, I just wanna give you guys a quick look at, um, There's this place, the, the Nazi safe house that you go in between missions where you sort of get to explore. Uh, it's like a, it's like downtime. You get to kind of look around, read some articles, sort of take, you know, like talk to some of the people who are in the resistance with you. Uh, there's an Easter egg there that I'll show you that's pretty cool. Uh, I'm gonna skip this movie just cause it's for the sake of time and also uh, for the sake of you guys knowing a little bit less if you're thinking of playing the game. So this is the resistance safe house. You can like, you know, maps of Berlin and articles about the war on the wall. Though well, that's actually something we did earlier. Um, you know, this is a room where you meet a very eccentric, uh, sort of like math-minded but very traumatized oh, woman. Huh. Actually, hey. this lady, Tekla. What's up, girl? Look at all those screens on the on the wall. There. Yeah, we're tapped into the. Uh, I guess the surveillance network of Berlin or something like that. Um, you can go upstairs, and this is sort of where the bedrooms are, and Ooh, where the magic happens. Yeah, there's resistance uh, magic. This is Max's bedroom. This is the memorial sort of column. Memorial slash fire hazard. Yep, so it has serious fire hazard because ventilation in here. Eh, <laughs> There's not, not much, probably but probably let's not light up. Super a good. A ton of candles, anyways. <laughs> uh, towards the back here. You can practice your knife throwing. Oh, 
which is a little tricky because there's a there's definitely a lot of sort of dive on them. And if you saw me try to knife oh, a yeah, Nazi commander is. on the stream, I did not do very well. And then there's this like r tiny room in the corner you can go to, which ah, has that. something you might recognize here, uh, shot from the old uh, Wolfenstein 3D. And then you can go to sleep on this bed and have a nightmare and have a horrible nightmare in which you are still the same resolution BJ and weapon but you're in Castle Wolfenstein. What? Uh, so I, I'm pretty sure this scales to the difficulty of where you actually are in the game so I don't ever do very well at this. Um, so I'm, I'm going to try to do a little <laughs> bit better and get a little bit further. Yeah. Someone was shooting me from over here, I think, also. Nope. All right. He's got some ammo for me. Like, what is happening to this guy's sprite? I don't really <laughs> that's know. How it, that's just how it was. Get some, I don't know why the health isn't a turkey, but, uh, you know, we can't, can't always get what we want. I love oh, the classic music. It's so good. Overcharged health. I think there's going to be a Nazi behind this door. Come on. No? Just a, just a grim skeleton of dead man. And I don't have any, like, oh, I guess I can dual wield handguns. Maybe I'll do that. Actually, I, don't, I really don't have a lot of bullets. <laughs> but we'll try it anyway. That helped. That was good. Give me your bullets. <laughs> Oh, this is good. School this is good. It's weird how some of the things are rendered as they were in the original game, but some things aren't. Like obviously, there's your hands yep. and like the actual like geometry of the world too. Yeah, I can jump. Yeah. <laughs> oh, that's good. That's really good. Oh, how like they this. leap into the air to die. All right, who remembers where a secret is? Which one is it? Do I just run along the wall? Tapping X? I'm not sure if there's a secret in here, but I guess we should always check the Hitler por portraits, right? All right, let's go this way. You got this. Horsey says it's always in between the plants. In between the plants? The plants. Were there some plants out here? Uh, there are by the door. Nothing that really stuck out to me, so let's keep going. We'll see. Wolfenstein! The new order, same as the old order. Is that a chamber pot? I think that's a poop bucket, as they say in German. Eine poopen bucket? Yeah, I don't know German. Oh, give me that dog food. Sweet. Sweet dog food. Nope. Mm. This is the true nightmare. You try to go poop, and the bucket is actually two-dimensional, and there's no room for your 3D poop. Ah, <laughs> oh, that is the worst part about our modern human condition. <laughs> Wait, so go back to that, bi that big room you were in initially. Why? Let's see. Mouser Madness says, secret is next to the door on the brown wall. Next to it? Yeah. Not getting anything. Not, not getting anything. Not getting anything. X is the, like, the wooden wall, use button. They say. That wooden wall is very short, and the wood panels are blocked by these trees. Twisted Tootsie says, it's just a matter of poop spective. <laughs> Which is a very clever poop joke. Well done. Oh, gosh! Yeah. And Twisted Tuesday has just won this stream. Congratulations to Twisted Tuesday for the best poop joke of them all. All right. Anything hidden behind these terrible barrels? No. Nope. <laughs> terrible barrels. All right. I got a good health situation. Uh... BJ, oh, I can slide too. Man, these Nazis always, don't know always on point sixty nine says, "What game is this?" I thought this was Wolfenstein. Hey. Always on point sixty nine. <laughs> always on point. 
Yes, this is Wolfenstein. It's the wolfiest of all steins. Anybody? I feel like this is one. Yeah. So see, it even popped up there with the little, uh, mm. the little prompt. Look at this. Oh, Look about at to these supercharge weapons. my health and get the assault your rifle. Health. So yeah. this is this is the old assault rifle that you get to use in the early part of the game. Shoot Hitler. <laughs> Done. Take that, Adolf. Really taught him a lesson. Bob says, Terrible Barrels is the title of the new Dave Matthews Band album. <laughs> Terrible Barrels? Terrible Barrels. Wolfie times, wolfie times, wolfie times, wolfie times. Who's around this corner? Yeah, it just blew your mind, didn't I? Mm -hmm. Didn't expect anyone to lean in your world. Yeah. They don't know what to do. I don't actually know how long this goes on. Oh, God. Well, we've got about three minutes until it's 3 o'clock. So you choose how to spend those three minutes however you wish. Hell of dying. Hell of dying. All right, and so then it just kicks you back here, and you don't actually get... An, you can't just, like, go right back in and do it. You uh, don't get another chance to play until you either reload the chapter and visit this safe house again, or until you... Um, come back around, finish a mission, and come back to the safe house. So, I think that's pretty much it. Maybe we should load up one more thing? Sure. Or are we pretty much... Just a real quick taste of something. All right, let's go into the future a little bit, and we're going to go to this one. Ah, we're going to use the Untersee boat. Yeah, this has some pretty... I'll skip this scene in case anyone is uh, story sensitive, but... Suffice to say, I'm going to try to hijack a U-boat. Yeah. Because that's a smart thing for a Blaskowitz to do. <laughs> so this is, a, this is actually one of the sections where stealth kind of matters a bit more, I guess. Um, you... Let's see. So I did this section stealthily when I first played it. And then I did it not stealthily just a little bit ago. And, um, whoa, Nazi's not very, not like super on point with the seeing of you. Uh, so, you know, if you clear this section stealthily, you're not going to get an alarm and you're going to be able to enter the next section also stealthily. But if you do get alarmed, this silence pistol is the bomb. Uh, if you do get alarmed, they're gonna they're gonna like give the crew a heads up. You're gonna hear the captain like make an announcement. Yeah, buddy, in your grill. Ah. Oh, another another dude over there. Oh! Oh, right in the chest. Nice work. Yeah. This is actually the level on which you get the ricocheting flak shells, which I will now put to use. It should. I think my health is pretty low, so it's probably not going to last very long. That's but. good, because we are at one minute to go on this stream. Any last questions about the Wolfen about the Wolfenstein? <laughs> about the Wolfie times. Get your questions in now, Twitch chat. Uh, mm. It's out on PC, Xbox One, and PS4. Also Xbox 360 and PS3, which I didn't think it was coming to current-gen systems. Oh, but, yeah. Uh, it totally is. Um... Yep, there's a bad guy. Say hello to the bad guy. Bad guys. Are you alive or just death break dancing? Always on point 69 says, this game reminds me of Turok. Always on point 69 <laughs> never lets us down with his insightful commentary. Totally on point. Really on point. Oh, and then I died. So if you play it, I recommend actually playing it on... If not Uber, then definitely uh, I am Death Incarnate or whatever the fourth out of five is. Yeah. I feel like it's going to... I feel like it might be a little too easy on normal, although, to be fair, I haven't really played it a lot on normal. In any case, I really enjoy it. We gave it an eight. Dan Hines down in Australia reviewed it. Yep. Um, we had a segment on the lobby about it yesterday, and we've had a bunch of stuff on it so far. If you guys have any further questions about it, feel free to reach out to me on Twitter. Uh, 
and uh, let me know how you're enjoying it if you're actually playing it. I know uh, Afinati, who's often in the chats, uh, was saying he liked the characters of Max and Klaus. Sorry we didn't get to show them off today, but those are two of the guys in the Resistance that you get to know. And it's, it's a game with character. It's a game with this old school kind of shooting sensibility. It's a good looking game. It's fun. Ha happy May. Happy May. Yeah. Thanks, Sean. Thank you, Chris. And thank you guys for watching. See you next time. Peace out.